Alright guys, welcome back, and right now we are going to the um, second location. As you guys can see, we already have our weapons. We are just um, on the way, we're, well, we are driving here. And we are going to kill some uh, random... Uh, 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 we are going to kill some random people. Ooh. You look like awesome people to do a drive-by through. Uh, <laughs> oh, you die also. Alright. We're going to this um, nightclub that I own. Well, actually, I kind of took it over. <laughs> but still, damn it, it's the same damn th uh, thing. So, we go in there, and um, basically, um, when we get there, well, they basically have like a dance floor, and um, because of the, having the dance floor, there's a lot of people on there, and basically, you throw a grenade in the middle. Well, you guys will see in a second or two. It's like an instant six stars, pretty much, is what it what it is. Then after that, we're also going to do some vigilante missions um, on, uh, like, uh, well, on the uh, helicopter. Because in GTA 3, um, there was no helicopter. You, um, there was no, hel you know, you didn't get a flyer on a helicopter. This is the first thing that was awesome about, uh, GTA um, Vice City. As you guys can see, I can click 10,000. You pretty much, um... Oh, shit. Okay, maybe I, I should not have fucking done that. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck my life. Okay. Malibu Club. Um, if the thing will let the game fucking load. Ah, there it goes. Alright, there's just some lag. Alright, as you guys can see, this is basically where... I thought there was a lot more people, but then I'm probably mi mixing Dead Rising 2 with this shit. So, uh, here it goes. Kaboom. <laughs> Talk about a motherfucking massacre. Now he comes in with this. Just plow these bitches the fuck down. They're minigun. As you guys can see, plowing the bitches the fuck down. Okay, we gotta take some car. We gotta get upstairs. Ah, shit. Yeah, that bitch is worthless. Damn it. Okay, there's a lot of shooting going on up here. Uh, ooh, what's this? Bank job? Shit. Okay, maybe we. Oh. Uh, there's a knife. No, a knife is useless. These people are shooting at me, and I will end up dying. I gotta throw some shit down here now. This is actually a pretty cool sniper rifle. It's a lot cooler than the one in GTA 3. Because the one in fucking GTA 3, it was, um... Near impossible to really get a good shot at it. Hopefully these guys can shoot at me. But then again, I probably can't shoot at them because, as you guys can see, so I gotta come out in the open a little more. Okay, I, I'm not getting fucking kills at all. This is not going the way it's supposed to go. Um, oh yeah, and plus I don't have infinite uh, health. Sometimes I do use uh, Game Shark, which, um, well, using Game Shark it helps a lot. But um, basically, I did this. A lot for um, um, a massacre. And if you guys don't know what Game Shark is, Game Shark is basically it's basically like a cheat code that you basically buy. And um, there's different cheat codes you, you can have basically. It's pretty cool. Um, having Game Shark on this helps a lot, but I don't know where my Game Shark uh, disc is right now. I'm pretty sure I can crouch. Okay, I just crouched. Can I fire? All right, I can fire. Reminds me of GTA 3. Except, damn it, <laughs> GTA 3 would be dead a lot sooner. So, it's probably going to end up happening, and just for the sake of this video, because I do actually want to get to the vigilante missions, is um, I'm just going to run out here and uh, kind of see how long it can last. Okay, I'm going to die. Wow, these people are seriously not shooting at me. I've been at 9 HP for the past, like, uh, Wow. I just took down an entire police force, and these people are not even doing shit damage to me. Damn it, there's one more over here. Damn it, Chuck. I mean, uh, 
I don't know the guy's name in this one. I know Dead Rising 2, his name is Chuck Green. Um, as for this game, I've never really paid attention to really... Okay, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, I understand I'm wasted. I don't really give two fucks. Oh, uh, God. It's, this game is a lot harder to do a massacre on rather than GTA 3. GTA 3, you would do a massacre and, um... I mean, you could basically last a, a long-ass time. Um, well, as for this one, to do the massacre, well, you may die a few times. But that is okay. Get the hell out of my goddamn cab, bitch. I'm taking the shit over. Alright, so right now we're going to drive to the helicopter. And, um... This is basically the coolest part of this game, is once you collect uh, um, 100 hidden packages, um, you basically get a um, helicopter, and uh, it's really cool. took me a while to locate all the hidden packages, and the reason why I have 102 hidden packages is because a, um, of a glitch that occurred. Oh yeah, I remember that. <sighs> GTA Vice City... You can fucking tip over shit a lot easier than um, GTA 3. So, one thing is that, you know, one thing that's different in GTA Vice City than GTA 3, um, other than that it's easier to die, is um, cars flip over a lot easier. Um, which, you know, is really, it's, it's really kind of a pain in the ass because, I mean, they really shouldn't tip over, but it's, you know, part of the video game. Um, I don't really need any weapons for this, mainly because, well, my helicopter is a fucking weapon. So, <laughs> oh, I really don't need any weapons. If any of you guys ever played GTA Vice City, then you guys know what I'm talking about, how it's just, it's fun driving around. You can basically do this for hours, just driving around, killing people, having them respawn, do it all over again, and never get bored. Um... Of course, pedestrians, they respawn instantly. So if you kill one, it automatically um, respawns. Now, as for like games like Dead Rising 2, um, you would have to then like go inside a, uh, a building, and then it would, you know, respawn the shit. Okay, where the hell is my fucking helicopter? Oh, this is the part of the game that pisses me off, because really, it should be somewhere over here. Um, maybe it's down over here. There's like, there's like a little helicopter landing zone. Should be over here. Damn, what the fuck? Where the hell is this bitch? This is, so right, this is gonna piss me off now. Damn it, it's around here somewhere. <laughs> Just look for a damn, like, army helicopter. Um, might be over here. Or, uh, we just need to check the damn map. Alright, so, yeah, it's it's right over here somewhere. Okay. There it is. There she is. This thing is God. And I'll show you why this thing is God. Mainly, it's God. Well, because you can listen to music while you play it. And, um, oh yeah, it's God because, um, you can do this. We can fire with, um, heavy machine gun fire. Or, we can be a dick. And decide to blow up vehicles with their missiles. -hoo -hoo! Now, the one bad thing about this helicopter using your uh, missiles is that if you get relatively too close, this thing, this helicopter does not have that much HP. So you do decide to, you know, use your missiles rather than um, like you, you know, use the machine gun on here. It will. You have, yeah, yeah, see, I just blew up that car. I mean, th this is just an easy way to get a lot of money and to get a lot of kills. As you guys can see, and we're actually going to play the visual, it's called Brown Thunder. Basically, you know, it's it's similar to, like, shit in my pants. So, okay, Vigilante Mission, part one. As you guys can see on the, um, little mini, oh, fuck. All right, on the little mini map over here, we have this little yellow dot. Now, each time you kill one of the Vigilante missions, you get more and more money. So, I was on, like, Vigilante man mission, like, a hundred and something, and I was getting literally per kill, or, okay, maybe not have been, like, a hundred, I think it was on 40 or something. I was literally getting, like, 500k every single kill, and it just increases, increases over and over and over again. Literally increases, wow. 
And as the Vigilante missions increase, it the missions get harder and harder. Like this mission, it just is one single car. And um, as missions get harder and harder, you will then get vehicles with people who get out and have bazookas and shit. So um, you can easily like um, you know, ah, fifty dollars. Right, fifty dollars is nothing. Okay, it really is. Now, as you guys notice, the time limit as um. As you do more and more missions, the time limit then increases. So that's you know that's good. First of all, um, second of all, your helicopter might be damaged, but as you do more and more mi missions, every single time you complete a mission, it basically gets a self-repairing system. Which don't ask me how the fuck that works. Um, you know that might be one of the things that's pretty not realistic in this game, but um. As you guys can hear, all cop cars go down here. You will eventually get six stars by doing this shit. It just, you know, it takes a while. And, um, this might not be a massacre. This might just be more like a fucking around mission. But, um, I want to blow up this little bitch over here. The reason why I want to blow up this little bitch is, well, just because I feel like it. Okay, okay, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. Nah, that, that wasn't good. Okay, as you see, my helicopter is smoking which you do not want in your helicopter to smoke. Especially if brown smoke is coming out of there, that means it's pretty fucking bad. But, um... Now, once you get out of your vehicle, you then have five... You, you, I think you then have, like, 30 seconds to find another, um... like, police vehicle to get into. So you would basically have, like, 30 seconds to get into a police car, a uh, tank, or another helicopter. And as you guys see, I just did the mission, and my helicopter is now healed.